this is Washington Square Park. It's in Greenwich Village in Manhattan. I'm seeing all kinds of people. This is right by NYU. We got a lot of a lot of students here. We got a lot of people hanging out by the fountains. You know, the weather's gonna turn cold in New York City another month from now, and you'll probably have a lot fewer people sitting out here outside. But this is really beautiful. And now, through the power of technology, I'm gonna lose my tie and I'm gonna lose the city. And I'm heading back out to the woods. That's where I'm going. Heading out to the woods. Just like that. I'm here, I'm in the woods. Wow, great. My hair got a little messed up in the transition. Is this a great trick or what? But I'm really happy to be here. This is cool, I'm loving it. Hey everybody, so I got myself some blaze orange. Let me show you, I'm gonna wear this. I've got some bandanas for the dogs and I found out about a new hike, a place I've never been before and I'm gonna go check it out right now. It's gonna take us through a cemetery and up and supposedly there's a nice overlook of this town and that's where I'm going. So there you go, I got my blaze orange on and so do my buddies here. A little bright maybe. Come on. Oh my. So let me see where this trail goes and uh, let's see if we can get a view of the town and if I could even maybe let my dogs run a little bit. I'm not gonna let them do it in the cemetery over my head there. That's the sign for the trailhead. And so we're gonna head into the woods. We're going up this trail and, and well, if I see anything interesting, meet any monsters or discover any new cultural civilizations, I will share it with you, so stay tuned. With all the foliage down, with the leaves off the trees, you can see everything a lot better. You can see my dogs better. Everything's a lot clearer. So nice. And uh, I love the rocks around here. I think you can see these rock formations. They're beautiful, just so nice. I see Main Street and Pearl Street, and I see the high school, and people are out doing their business on a Saturday afternoon and I'm up here standing on a ledge looking down on them and my dogs are having a great time running around we've all got our blaze orange on of course so I love all this stuff here on the rock I mean I find it so interesting it really looks like something that's been burnt there's there's a, there's a blackness to it and a, and a light colored it's some kind of a fungus I don't know what it is I know I'm telling you guys about a lot of things that I don't know what they are but my point is getting out here and seeing them and touching them and experiencing they're really it's really wonderful it's part of the wonders of nature so all the ferns are dying back that's a sure sign of the end of the season even in their last gasps of life I still find them interesting and beautiful to look at but I was just walking on this ridge a few minutes ago and it's so beautiful uh, the way this path just cuts through the ferns even if they're ferns on their last legs or dying down for the season but off off in that direction there were three or four deer running and Hunter thought that was his cue to take off so he did but He's a good boy. He was back. I don't even know if he was gone five minutes. In fact, here he comes again. Because now I gave them the snack, and that's the key. You gotta have snacks when you're in the woods with dogs. But as long as I gave him the snack, uh, he's gonna hang around. There he is. Hoping that there'll be another call to action. Another call for snacks. Talk about backlit the wonders, the beauties of backlit. Just take a look at all of this. I, I, don't, I still don't know what these are called, but they're beautiful, they're backlit, they're green, they're shining like silver. Uh, they're just awesome. Yeah, I hope you like that one. The dogs might run off, but the, at the same time, they are keeping close tabs on me. And if I wanna take a picture of something or I wanna look at something closely, they're right there. I'm looking now at this stump. It's just, uh, it's gnarly. It's about to fall over. I'm sure I could go and give it one good push and it would go over. So what is wrong with this picture? 
Yeah, Charlie lost her bandana. But one of the good things about these bandanas is, well, they're pretty easy to find. So, hey, there it is. Let's go get it. Let's see if I can. Hunter's on a rock, Charlie's on a rock further back. I, I can't plan these things. I can't make them do this. Uh, they just like to be up on rocks, what can I say? So coming up, I have a little treat for you. All right, maybe it's not a treat. Maybe you'll find it totally offensive. I brought a harmonica. I don't know how my dogs are gonna react, but chances are they're gonna be over here in a second. Maybe it'll be in the video, maybe it won't. You don't need a harmonica, and you don't need three dogs, and you don't need to even videotape. Just get yourself out into the woods. De-stress. I'm not thinking about anything else while I'm out here. It totally relieves me of those aspects of my life that can weigh me down. We all have them. Most of us go to work or school. We have financial obligations, mortgages and car payments, people that depend on us. But if you could find a little time, this park in particular is right in a town. And you don't, you don't have to travel far. For the people of this town, they could just walk right over. Well, it was time. I mean, I'm almost ready to head out of here. So I decided it was time to lose the hat. But I just want you to take a look at this because this looks to me a little bit like a dragon. All right, you got to use your imagination, but take a look at these leaves. These leaves, they're the wings going up and then you got the body and... Hey, if you could look up at a constellation and call it Orion or the Big Dipper, I think I can call these three leaves a dragon. What do you think? 